Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about Aurora's big European news. Uh, so some news came out. I don't know if this is like legit or anything because there's no official press release and this was kind of like, a, you know, kind of leaked or something. Uh, nothing to do with a small global player, global pot make market. They are bleeding money and they need to stop losses. Eventually, it will all pay off. Dollars, patience, everyone. It's all a scam. They sh all should be sued for cheating and playing with shareholders' monies. <laughs> well, yes, there's, there's still a lot of uh, negative stigma around Aurora right now because... Aurora hasn't shown any positive progress to increase the stock price but you know that's just the way the market works sometimes at one point Afria everyone was so bearish on Afria everyone was saying Afria was a scam uh, because of the old CEO and all that bull crap and then as soon as they flip a profit people oh look Afria made a profit and they totally forgot about all the bad things that happened in the past with Afria stock so as long as I think if Aurora flips a profit, investor sentiment will change very quickly in this stock. But yes, I think this is pretty big news. Uh, Aurora, so Aurora lays off more staff in restructuring European. Uh, so it's good to see them focus on reducing operations, uh, attempting to flip a profit because that's exactly what shareholders want. They want to the, the, see the company stop bleeding money and start flipping a profit. And that's what they're working on. That's why they're laying off a bunch of people uh, in Europe and they're focusing the operations to what is the best to focus on. And they also bought out the, they, the company is also fully acquired its Aurora Nordic uh, facility in Odense, Denmark, which is used to ramp up operations over the next 12 months and meet demand for the European medical market. Uh, Madas UK, I can't even say it, who is currently the CEO of Aurora Nordic, has been appointed the president of European organization effectively immediately and will oversee new growth strategy. This report by the Canadian press was first published on July 2020. I don't know how legit this uh, article is, but I saw it, so I decided to make a video on it. As for Aurora stock, I don't know what's gonna do. I honestly don't. Uh, but you know, if I if I had an option, and if I even though I'm a shareholder, yes, I'm a shareholder. But if I had an option, I would want the stock to go all the way back to five bucks. And then when earnings come, I hope that you know the earnings are decent, and the stock pops up another two hundred and fifty percent. I would love to see that pop again of two hundred and fifty percent. Will it happen? I don't know. I, I really don't know, but if this thing goes back to, you know, five, five US, uh, six US dollars again, I'm buying. I'm definitely buying. I'm loading up on more shares, but, you know, don't follow me, not financial advice. This is just what I would do if the stock price goes back down there. I don't know what it's going to do, man. At the end of the day, big money moves this market. I really don't think retail investors move the market. And right now, uh, from a charting perspective, the stock is downtrending. It was going to start an uptrend, but it broke, and now it's back down. It's back to downtrending. If Aurora released some kind of press release, maybe the stock will pop back up again. But for now, it's downtrending, so it could continue to go down and down and down and down. And maybe it'll hit five U.S. dollars. Who knows? At the end of the day. I'm just speculating and you know, I you know, so some people might be like, oh boo, I want this stock to go to the moon. Well, you know what? That's just, even if you want to, it doesn't matter because big money determines where the stock moves. And if Aurora release a press release, money might flow back into Aurora stock and it might push the stock price up. But for now, it's, you know, I think it's going to keep going down. It could be wrong. I still have a position of a thousand shares and uh, yeah so and I'll buy more if it just keeps going down because I believe that eventually it will pop back up again that's what I believe I don't know for sure nothing's for sure in this market 
Uh, anyways, uh, as you can see, there is no press release on July 20th. So I don't know where this this really came from. I could do some digging, but nah, I really don't care at the end of the day. Uh, HMMJ, HMMJ is uh, also stuck. Uh, well, it's still uptrending, so that's a positive sign. And if Aurora Canopy, I mean, if Canopy, Afria, Canopy, you know, Tilray, they all keep moving up, it'll move up to HMMJ, and hopefully. Aurora gets dragged along for the ride. If not, whatever. That's just the way life works. I bought into this stock realizing that there was a possibility it could go down more. And this is exactly what's happening. The stock is going down right now. We'll see if that can continue to go down. Uh, Canopy down uh, up a penny. Tore up a penny. Uh, Neo is up five uh, up. One dollar and seventy four cents after hours, five cents after I me, mean one forty seven after hours up another five cents. Very, very strong push movement to the upside. No, no call options, no put options. I'm just watching it. Uh, Tesla also being pushed up pretty dramatically today. Not too much to say about that. Uh, the the market, it was green today, SP500 is starting to make its way up, it's broken, it's broken some resistance levels, and it looks like it's going higher for me, but there's the one thing I want to point out is the NASDAQ, how crazy the NASDAQ is, like think, look at this, look at that. stock market crash, boom, NASDAQ, back to all time highs, like holy cow, like holy cow, that is insane. The Nasdaq is insane. I think it's mostly to do with Tesla and Apple and all the other companies that are traded on the Nasdaq, like the Fang stocks. Most of them are traded on the Nasdaq, and that's why the Nasdaq is like at all time highs because you know, <laughs> look like Tesla. You know, Tesla ten points, and if a Tesla gets put on the SP uh, S and P five hundred, I think the S and P five hundred is going higher. Higher, I think we're gonna break new to all-time highs if uh, if Tesla gets put under the S&P 500 because yeah, you know, that's what I think will happen. I could be wrong. Pure speculation on my part. Uh, Nikola, uh, Nikola uh, down today. I mean, I probably I still wouldn't touch it at these stock prices. It might bounce, but I'm not touching it. Too scary for me. Still don't make the market cap still doesn't make any sense. Solo. I have a position solo, and if Tesla keeps moving up, solo will mo keep moving up with it. Tesla crash, solo will crash. Uh, same with Arcomotive, uh, same scenario, they are kind of connected. Uh, so, if one moves up, the other one moves up. Uh, Air Aereo, uh, Aero is uh, kind of like on its own planet right now. Uh, Elvitic Credit, uh, I want to make the point where Retail investors don't control where the stock price goes. The volume today was average, 500 million, five half a million. I mean, very low volume, very low, lackluster investor interest. It's already starting a brand new downtrend in a sense. So yeah, you know, new downtrend, but we'll see if this can continue. Earnings, uh, I'm more interested in the earnings and if this stock keeps dropping down, I'm definitely gonna be buying more. You can't ignore it. It's too good of a value, uh, and I'm more, I'm really interested in its earnings. Uh, Blink, Blink, oh, Blink is down thirteen cents. Not too much to say about that. Nikola, Nikola is up thirty five cents. Already talked about Nikola. Uh, workhorse today. Wow, look at workhorse up. One dollar and thirty nine cents after hours. Up another twenty one cents. Uh, is that crazy? In my opinion, that's just super crazy. And it looks like uh, workhorse might start a new uptrend soon here. So we'll see what happens. Uh, work. I think workhorse is probably gonna go back to twenty bucks. I could be wrong. Pure speculation on my part. So we'll see what happens. There's a lot of money right now in the EV market. So yeah, AMD. Up two dollars and forty two cents today. I did tell you guys to watch it, and I was right because it went up. Will this continue? Well, what 
what AMD really needs to do right now is they need to essentially break 60 bucks. If they break 60 bucks, the uh, I think money will flow into the stock like no tomorrow. Uh, 60 bucks it, right here was it is like it has to break 60 bucks. So if it breaks sixty dollars, or it breaks eight nine uh, fifty nine, yeah, about fifty nine dollars. Or if it breaks sixty bucks, this stock is heading a lot higher. I think this stock could head to like seventy dollars very fast if it breaks sixty bucks. Earnings are coming up here very soon. They are having their new APU launch tomorrow, and if positive reviews come out, that could help push the stock price up. So if like uh, you know, Linus came out and be like, oh look. AMD's laptop is so much better than all of Intel's products and its gaming performance is pretty stellar. If he says like something positive like that, watch AMD stock. Boo! Cause uh Linus who <laughs> made a video saying buy AMD stock at $28 and now the stock is at $50, $57. So if Linus is very if bullish on AMD after the after the new uh after the new APU launch, I think AMD stock is heading higher. Uh Virgin Galactic more uh, Virgin Galactic just kinda trading sideways. The pump phase is over. Right now it's in cons uh consolidation mode. Uh and do be do be careful because it could collapse because, you know, if the now, that's what I think there's a possibility that Virgin Galactic stock could collapse or it could continue to grind further. Right now, it the charts are telling me that Virgin should keep moving up. They, the stock should keep progressing in the upwards momentum. But nobody truly knows for sure what's going to happen. All speculation at the end of the day. A very, very good food company. Um, you know, just kind of trading sideways today. High Tide, uh, also trading sideways today. Disclosure, I did make a position in High Tide today. I will be making a video over the weekend for it. So, yeah, look forward to that if you want. Uh, Neo, Neo stock is, uh, trading sideways. Neo should be up a little higher. But there's lack, lack, lackluster of investor interest in it. I still invest in it. I think it's supposed to head higher. If we look at all the lithium plays today, they are all up. I don't have any lithium up, but yeah, just just letting you know. Kira, Kira is trading sideways today. True is trading sideways. Cresco sideways action uh hard probably sideways action gti sideways action seems oh gti had a nice bump today hmm, interesting liberal health science trading sideways and men men looks depressing cineplex odian today cineplex was just kind of trading sideways Volume seems very weak on it. Uh, I guess lack of investor interest, but yeah, it's probably just bots trading back and forth. But yeah, vo weak volume doesn't not a good sign. Uh, this, you no, know, we'll see what happens. I haven't been to the movie theater lately, so don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go today, well, Monday. We'll see. Uh, maybe I'll make a video about it and go to the movie theater and post it on the weekend. A uh, good day to go to the movie theaters, I guess. Uh, go out and do something instead of just sitting at home and watching YouTube videos all day. Yeah, I think I should make, go out and do something. Anyways, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.